In this video, we are going to go to the annotation ribbon and apply some whole callouts to the part we have on the screen. Now, if you would like to work along with me, you can open up this file from your working files folder. And the name of this drawing is drilled black. Now, just to make it a bit easier to visualize what's going on with this drawing, let's go back to the part in the part environment. Here we have a rectangular piece of stack and we have four features cut into it. Now, if I roll the model, you will see it appears that we have a counter bore and a through hole, a tapped or threaded feature, a slotted feature, which does not extend all the way through the part, and then another counter bore and through hole. However, if you look at the feature manager tree, you will see the first feature is a counter bore for an M20 socket head cap screw. And this was created with the whole wizard command. The next feature is an M30 by two tapped hole. And this was also created with the whole wizard command. And the same with the third feature, a 25 millimeter dowel slot. And this does not extend all the way through. In fact, if we edit the feature, you will see the slotted feature is only 50 millimeters deep. And the last feature is not created with the hole wizard. I purposely created this last counter bore in through hole with two cut extrude features. Knowing how the part was created, let's go back to the drawing file. I'm gonna start with this left feature. I'll zoom in on the top view. I'll select hole call out. Notice no dialog box appears. I simply go out to the drawing view and select the feature. I'll place the note, and as we read the note, you will see everything appears correct. We have a diameter 22, that's this diameter here. It goes all the way through the part. We also have a counter bore, diameter 33, and the depth of the counter bore is 20 millimeters. That note is correct. However, if you need to modify anything, notice the property manager is open, allowing you to make changes. Let's add a note to the second feature. On this note, we have diameter 28 through all. That would be your tap drill size. Then we have the thread note M30 by 2.0-6H, and that extends all the way through. Now, if you don't want to specify the tap drill size, you simply go back to the property manager, and we'll remove that first line. And notice a SolidWorks alert message telling us if we alter the text, we may break that link. I'm gonna go ahead and select yes, and you'll see the note is updated. Now I'm gonna apply the note to the slotted feature. Our slotted feature note is 25 millimeter by 50 at a depth of 50. That note is correct too. Now on this last feature, it will be interesting to see if it gives us the information for both features since it was created as two separate cut extrude features. I'll select the outside circle and you'll see it does give us the correct information. Diameter 20 is a through hole. Then we have a counter bore diameter 40 with a depth of 10. I wanna left justify this. I'm gonna go back to my property manager and select left justified. Now let's say for example, this did not display correctly. How would you input that? So to simulate that, I'm gonna go back to my property manager and I am going to remove that entire note. Now let's recreate the note. I am going to select the diameter symbol. The diameter was 20 for the through hole. Counter bore, diameter 40 with a depth of 10. Notice the note is created. I'll close out of the property manager and we added four whole callout notes.